Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is an adult hobby channel including colour and photography and reading. Today I'm going to have a quick, very quick video, I'm not going to do a lot of this, but I've seen people do this, I never thought I'd give it a go, but I'm, I've bought a diamond painting kit. So obviously I'm using the, the free pen thing that comes with it and if I enjoy it I might get another one and I'm I know people say to use them um, blue tack rather than the the red wax that comes with it but I'm using the red wax at the moment because I don't know where my blue tack is so I've got a 30 by 40 centimeter picture of a rough collie it's this one now my mum loves rough collies so I thought I'd get one I'd have a go at it and then if it looks nice I'll frame it and give it to her for a birthday birthday's in February which is why I'm starting in December um, I know it's very fiddly. I've already got my first symbols, which are the white ones, which is the white ones, which is uh, number 3756. So I don't know if we, we're not zoomed in all the way. So I'm just going to pull it down and show you. I'm left handed, so I'm going to work right to left and I'm only going to pull a little bit off. So I, like, as you can see, there's a few up there that I've put in and that's it I've got them in the tray here so watch me cock up a collie so for me being left-handed this is really weird and I'm gonna have to take my glasses off as well just because my short-range vision is terrible uh, I, I well it's not my short my glasses are for long range if you're looking at the TV for driving and things like that so to do this I need the to be off whoops that's not very straight is it now I have watched a few videos with some hints and tips like I said about using blue tack somebody else says we oh, put it on you can just slide it along somebody else says do this somebody else does do that I do like the idea of using blue tack because I can see it's gonna be very boring to keep putting that that pink stuff on so I'm obviously not going to do all of this on camera because it's going to be A, too difficult and B, it's going to take so long. So as you can see I've only put on half a dozen um, and it's very fiddly. This is definitely something that's going to have to be done when Jennifer's in bed. Um, just simply because of the little bits. I already dropped one on the floor. I did find it again and that's good because that means it's all done. But yeah, I mean, I've not done this before. I've, I've never ever done it. it. So I'm not expecting this to be brilliant. I'm hoping it'll be all right. <laughs> I'm hoping it'll actually resemble what it's meant to be, which is a rough collie. Or if you're not sure what that is, a lassie dog my mum actually has the first dog she ever had was a rough collie and her name was Sheena and now she has a rough collie now and her name is Rose and she's a lovely little girl she's uh, very timid oops so I do like the way you can just like nudge them around and if you're not happy you can still take it off with the tweezers which I'm going to do and of course, being left-handed, it's not the easiest thing. Oh dear. See, oh, I'll just nudge it into place with the tweezers, that's better. Yeah, it's not brilliant. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever done it. So, you know, I'm not going to be brilliant at it. It's not going to be an amazing thing. I have looked at a diamond painting kit I want. If I enjoy this and I think I'm doing all right, I'm going to order a Marilyn one and I'll do it on camera, but it'll be a massive one. It won't be this size, it'll be, um, so this one was like 10 quid, it'll be like a 20 to 30 pound one. The biggest one's like 40 quid on the Marilyns. Because Paul was thinking of getting me one for Christmas, but he said, I didn't think, I didn't know whether or not you'd do it. And I said, well, I do want a Marilyn one to do. But, uh. You have to see how long it takes me to do this. There's a lot of these. So, 
this is the white, there's a lot of white on a rough collar, you know, and this is just the top. So I do need to find something to put them in other than the little baggies that they give you. And I have thought I could put them in film canisters, you know the, the little canisters, 35 mm, 35 mm film comes in? I thought I could put them in, so yeah, just give it a nudge like that and it does move it around. I can see why people find it quite relaxing and cathartic because it's just you just sit here and you just stick them on and you nudge them together and you know make sure they fit and but I can also see it being quite tedious so one of the tips was a, one of the ladies said that if you're doing a lot a block put them in other every other one and do a checkerboard to get them straight and in the right place so that would be like this so I don't know it's going to be interesting to see how this comes out and at least I haven't wasted like a hundred pounds on something you know it was only a tenner and if it turns out nice great if it doesn't work oh well it's not the end of the world I know people don't use these they like to keep their own, they throw these ones away. I I guess it's because they're not that good maybe or they're hard on the hands. I don't know, well I've just put a big hole in my wax. <laughs> so I don't know if this is something you're actually going to want to see on this channel because at the moment, all I'm doing is filling in a lot of white stuff. Now, as you can see, that's not going to fit. Oh, yes, yes, there it is. It's gone in now. I don't know. I'm not very good at this. I'm really not very good at this, am I? You know, there's a bit of a gap up there where it's... Uh, that's it. That's better. Bit of a gap there. So, yeah, I don't know what C is. Season is a slight grey one. That's the top of the. the... So, <laughs> I mean, this is just this is ridiculous. I don't know. I, I I sort of can see why people find it relaxing, but it's also really tedious. Let's be honest, it is, isn't it? But, I mean, I've got a bit of a gap in up there at the top, but uh, who knows? Ah. <sighs> Dear me, I could see me being really annoyed by these gaps and fiddling with it forever and never getting it right because <laughs> I know what I'm like, it's no focus. I don't know. Is it glittery? Is it glittery? Does it glitter? You can't see it on there. Can it? It, is, it is sparkling actually. I know some people say to put a light pad underneath it but I, when they showed that on YouTube, I didn't like it. I thought it looked really, really awkward. Oop. Oop. That's it, got it. <laughs> I don't know, I think it's just me. I'm just thinking this is a bit weird. It's a very strange thing. Maybe because I'm left-handed as well, I find it a bit odd. I don't know. What do you think about diamond painting? Do you guys do it? Do any of you do it out there? And if so, do you, do you enjoy it? Have you tried it and found it really tediously boring and given up? Or are you one of those people who think it's the best thing since sliced bread and Andy, Andrea needs to suck it up and get on with it? I'm not finding it tedious at the moment. But I can see my OCD kicking in and me not liking the way it's maybe not sitting as flat as I would like it to or as straight as I would like it to. But that's going to be practice, isn't it? And this is my first one, so I'm not really going to beat myself up over it. And I've got to remember I've got to put it on the these ones. Yeah, there we go. So there's a lot of these uh, white ones. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of white down the front as well because the rough collie has got a very white front. Oh my god. 
I've heard that you're supposed to get more than you need in case you lose some but I also know the company has said if you don't have enough just to contact them and they'll send you some more out probably because most people end up dropping them on the floor much like I did with one but I did find it and picked it up straight away I don't want Jennifer trying to eat it thinking it's a sweet or a, you know something she can put in her mouth yeah okay there's a lot of these up here and I'm just trying to try and use up as many of these as I can because I don't really want to put them in the back <laughs> and I want to see what the next colour is which is the C's and then the at sign interesting Wow, we're already 11 minutes into this video. Just shows you how long and not tedious, I'm not finding it particularly tedious at the moment, but how precise it is to get in, pick up your square or your drill, whatever you want to call it, and putting it down. But I definitely want to get one of the Marilyn Monroe ones and I will definitely be filming that if I do and I will film the whole thing from unpacking it to starting it every single piece will I will film and it will be a big one so it will be a very very long video so at least a little bit of a gap there and I still don't like the fact that I've got that gap there it's just me I'm always going to this is the thing I'm always going to hate things like that But yeah, I can see why people like it. Oh my life. And I'm only on the top corner. <laughs> We've done doing this for 12 minutes. And I did six of them before. Because I thought, I'll have, just have a go to see how easy it is to move things around and things like that. <laughs> wow. It is actually quite fun. You know, and I, I think I would really, I mean, I'm, gonna, I'm enjoying this one because it's a rough collie and I love rough collies myself. But I think if I get a Marilyn one, I think I'm really going to enjoy that. And then I might get some Disney ones and do them for Jennifer's bedroom. She likes anything that sparkles because, I don't know, because she, she's a kid and kids like sparkly things. So... Oops, that's it, got it. So, yeah, I mean, it is... Yeah, I mean, it's not completely straight. I can see that. I'd need to be right on top of it to get it completely straight. I would, personally. But, um, yeah, this is... Kind of, I don't know, people watch these things. I mean, it's just, you know, I know people watch the colour in chats, but at least there's some variety in it. You're not just seeing me put lots of white squares down on a piece of sticky paper oh hello i've missed one there get that one did that actually go on the right one i don't know let me put this one up here and i'll just move it across just to be on the same side yeah it did it is right there's another one here oh. And I know I'm knocking the camera, I just felt it move. But and, and the paper is quite sticky. As you can see, as I get further across, it's getting slightly better the more I get used to it and the nearer it gets to me. As opposed to, although that one's a bit out there. That one's a bit up and that one's a bit down. As you can see, I haven't pulled a huge amount of this paper off at the moment. Uh, one of the people I saw a video of suggested that you put washi tape around the side because if, if you get your hands on it, you can get bits of fluff on the picture, uh, which makes sense. But uh, along with this edge is sticky and it just covers up. But if I do like it, I'm going to get it framed anyway, so it'll be it'll be mounted over this sticky bit. But it makes sense to use something like washi tape if you're just going to stick it on your wall as is. So. Uh, 
So I am thinking I might get some film canisters. I've probably got some upstairs. I'll have to have a look. I might throw them all away because I had loads at one point. And I can use them to put them in and just write on the top, put a sticker on the top with the, um, the number of the colour. Oh, we're going to need to take that one off. Being left-handed is a pain because everything's built for right-handed people. There. There we go. So I don't know whether I should have perhaps picked something a little less complicated, like maybe a Disney picture to start. But I thought it's got to be something I'm going to enjoy doing, something I really like, rather than just something for ease, which I might get bored with quicker. As you can see, I mean, it's taken me 15, 16 minutes nearly just to do this tiny little bit. It's very time consuming. So I probably will do some of this off camera um, and then come back when I get onto the, the actual part of the, the dog. With the Marilyn one, I will do the whole thing if I get one. It depends how, oh dear, I dropped it, how well this turns out. That's fine. If it turns out pretty good, then I will definitely get one. And it'll probably get better the more I do it because I'm going to be getting used to what I'm doing. So if I can use up all these white ones or most of these white ones, I don't have to put them back. Some of them haven't turned around, I'm not going to lie. Most of them have though. So this is something I can do when I don't feel like colouring or yeah, this is this is actually quite good fun. I didn't think it would be. I, th I you know, I'm, I, it's fiddly, it's intricate, and I'm not really into that sort of intricate stuff. But this, I'm quite enjoying. Well, I'm glad I ordered this now. I wait a minute, it arrived today, Friday. I'm doing started this on Friday the thirteenth. <coughs> You'll probably be seeing this on Sunday the fifteenth. And. Um, I knew I'd ordered it and I was thinking about it the other day, oh, I hope my diamond painting kit comes soon so I can get started on it. And then I picked it up from next door because it went to next door and I was like, what's this now? Every day something's arriving. And then I looked at it and I looked at it and I don't know what this is. And then as soon as I opened up I thought, oh it's my diamond painting thing. It's here. Hooray. So this is definitely something I'm going to have to do at the big table. I'm not going to be able to do this at the coffee table. It's far too intricate. Or up in bed on a tip tray or a, you know. Oh, <laughs> they just went everywhere. I'll get those up in a minute. Um, but yeah, well, the one didn't go in my tea. I don't really care. They're so tiny, these things. I didn't realise how small they were. I know you can get sets which have got bigger ones in them but I didn't realize how tiny they are I mean it, it, I, I think I'm getting better the further it goes in I'm not sure but uh, I'm tr I, I, I think I am getting better you can see there's gaps there but there's not so much here it's getting slightly more <sighs> look at it all or even so I'm just going to keep going with this bit to use up as many of these white ones as I can because I don't really want to have to put them back in the pot. Like I said what I'll do is I'll do some more of it and then when I get down to the more interesting part which is the face down here look um I'll, I'll film those bits but uh, you don't want to see me just putting a load of white diamonds on surely I mean you might do you might be thinking this is great so I don't know if my mum will like it. She might like it. It'll be very sparkly. I might get her an Elvis one for next Christmas if um, if this turns out all right. I might get an Elvis one because she loves Elvis. Get her a sparkly Elvis. Handmade gifts are better. It's also bought and handmade. So, yeah. I have to say to dad, I've got something for mum for her birthday that we'll need framing. He goes, you got it now? I said, yeah, because it's something I'm doing. 
And he'll go, oh, and I'll explain what it is. And he'll go, what the hell is diamond painting? I'll go, it's, it, yeah, I know, it's a bit weird. But basically you get these little, it's it's like a mosaic really, isn't it? If you think about it, I'll say it's like a Roman mosaic. It's tiny little pieces of resin that you stick on in a certain order and it makes a picture. And it's sparkly, hence why they call it diamond painting. And I've got her a rough collie one. And I like the idea that you can get them made to order. So I could send a picture of Jennifer and get one of Jennifer, or I could send a picture of Mum Misty, Mum's Shetland Sheepdog who died. And I might do that. I might get see if I can get one of Misty for her. Um because that would be nice. She'd love that. Because I, I got her, um, I made her calendar one Christmas. I ordered it from Photobox. And um, it uh, had a different picture of Misty for every single month. And she opened, I, I made two. I had one for her and one for my best friend's daughter who had Westies. And my mum opened it up and there was a picture of, of Misty wearing Dad's hat that we took. And my mum said, oh, that dog looks just like Misty. And I was like, mum, it is Misty. <laughs> and she was like, what? I said, it's all Misty. If you Every single picture in that calendar is one of Misty. And she was like, oh my God, that's amazing. And she loved it. And my friend Tash, when I gave her hers of her Westies, she had two Westies. She only got one now. They both they both died since, but uh, she still got she still has one. Um, she cried. She got very very emotional about it. But I like doing those sorts of personalised presents, and because photography is one of my big things, they were all pictures I'd taken myself over the course of a year. And the picture for February of Buster's and Buster and Tootsie had their noses together so their faces made a sort of heart shaped which was great for Valentine's Day and, and Natasha's birthday is actually Valentine's Day as well so it was a really nice nice one for that but she when she opened it had a look on her face and I love that when you when you get presents that are personal like that people really do love them Paul's dad's requested a picture of Jennifer which is good because he's going to get a picture of Jennifer because they had them taken at nursery and they're really really nice so there's pictures for everybody basically. Apart from Chris, unless he wants one, he can have one of mine. So I I think I've got it. Well, I'm enjoying it anyway. I don't know about that. We'll have to see. Some of these are upside down. I'll have to shake them around again in a bit. Put that one. That one. Oh God. I don't like that. Let's take that one out a minute. Like I said, it's awkward for me because I'm left-handed, so. Every time I do one, it's, it feels like I should be doing it the other way. Hang on. I don't know where it went, but I moved it. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear me. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be any good at this diamond painting arc. I'm enjoying it, but I don't think I'm going to be any good at it. Let's play that one again. Hopefully there are more in here than you need. There should be. Now I'm doing the, yeah, I'll come back up here for a minute. Oh my God, I've been doing this 23 minutes and I've hardly touched it. <laughs> oh dear, I find it so funny that I'm sitting here doing this on camera. I've been colouring. My sister in law Claire said, I said to my mum, I can't believe I've just watched Andrea colouring for 30 minutes on a video and yet here I am sticking white tiles on a piece of adhesive canvas and I've been doing that for 25 almost and I'm looking for ones that are the right way up now oops there's one and you know I'm, I'm doing this and I've hardly touched it this is going to be a very long journey isn't it and you imagine if I get a big Mario one which is almost twice the size of this it's going to take forever but I want to do a big Marilyn one. I want to do a big Elvis one for mum. I was thinking for Mother's Day, but then I'm thinking, mm, maybe Christmas. I don't know. We'll have to see. Oh! Make sure I put it on that. Oh dear. Oh God. 
yeah you will get a lot of that from me muttering and oh my god what am I doing and why have I decided I think this was a good idea oh my life like I said watch me cock up a collie I haven't even got to the collie here yet, we're just on the top, which is the the white bits. There's a bit of shadow and then when we get onto the colours that'll be nice. <sighs> dear, oh dear. And yeah, I know people do love doing this and I, I'm actually really enjoying it. I really, really am. I really am enjoying this. And I think I probably will buy more but not yet I will wait until I've done a good sh oops that's gone on sideways that's not a good idea let me just get that out I will um wait till I've got a good chunk of this done and if I think yeah this looks all right I'll go, right, I'm gonna get the Marilyn one I'm gonna get an Elvis one and I'll get one of Misty um and I'll just buy them like one every other month or something and uh, once I finish one I will start the next and like I said the Marilyn one we will be doing it online I've just got to decide which picture I want and there are several very nice pictures um I will probably do them all eventually I got a feeling I know which one I'm gonna start with I mean I, I, it's between one of her in a red dress from How to Marry Millionaire and the gold lame now if they had a picture of her full length in the diamonds dress it would be that one because the Diamonds Dress is one of my favourites. Um, Diamonds Girls with Friend is my favourite song. Jump for Blondes is my favourite movie. I get, and I guess I could send a picture and get it done, but I think I'll stick with the ones that I can. And it didn't take too long to come. I'm really pleased with it. It only took about a ten, week to ten days. Because um, when they come from abroad, I've got one stuck on my hand. I, I must admit I am enjoying it. You do get a bit of wax stuck on it sometimes, so maybe that's another reason for trying to use blue tack instead. You know? So yeah, I mean I've I'm, there are a lot of these flipping things, isn't there? And I'm just on the the white ones. <laughs> I just think it's quite mad that you're sitting well, I don't know if you are watching me, I'm probably talking to myself, but I'm doing this and you're potentially sitting there just watch me stick these plastic squares on a piece of sticky paper basically and that is what you're doing you are watching me stick these things oh I dropped that one on this thing oh it's on my finger on here so I mean that's how much I've done it's taken us nearly 30 minutes to do just this section so I'm gonna call it a night for this video I'm going to carry on um, just using up these these few um, and then I, I might do a bit more a bit every day and like I said when I get onto the face and onto the interesting part of the picture I will film it unless you want to see any more um, that's up to you just let me know <laughs> so if you enjoyed this rather bizarre video of me cocking up a collie um, my diamond painting leave me a comment down below don't forget to like the video <laughs> share it if you really must and if you're not already a subscriber please subscribe i do appreciate each and every one of you and don't forget to tick the notification bell so you're notified every time i upload one of these random videos sorry i am laughing and it's not funny it's actually really enjoyable so i do understand why people like doing it so i'll see you all soon bye